So I made that this video talking about my frustration with the Voyager app to buy, sell or transfer crypto. And as you can see in the comment section, I'm not the only one and I'm not hating on the app, but it's just so many people are angry. Voyager was good for the past couple of years. I have had this problem lately. I think there are too many customers than they can that they can handle. And that's the truth. They're taking too many customers, locking out some, not allowing others to trade, but they're just taking active customers. And because their funds are stuck there, that's why they can claim, for example, that they have two point something billion in asset, whatever. But essentially, if you read the comment, even though your bank clears any transaction with Voyager, they will take their sweet time to clear the pending. This guy suggests to use Binance or Kraken for lowest fees. And I will never use Voyager again. 15 days on deposit, still pending. Took weeks to get Ether and B BTC off Voyager. There are much better exchanges out there. And let me just show you again. There are people that will say, okay, I'm just hating on the app. This guy, for example, says, I do not agree. I feel like it's because of the growth that these issues are occurring. Of course, if you're growing, make sure that you have a good customer service because your customer service is the one that can make off or break off your business. Okay, it doesn't make sense to have to, to have 100,000 loyal customers and then take 800,000 more, but then you're losing a lot more of your loyal customers. It doesn't make sense. Even out of those 800,000, a lot more people will be turned off. They will leave. Let me just show you again. This is my phone and this is the Ether transaction. This one that I was talking about in two of my previous video. Guess what? Since March 29, 11.42 AM was pending. I just opened my Voyager account. It was rejected. For whatever reason, I don't know. My Coinbase wallet is active. I have transferred crypto from other, from Coinbase and from other exchanges to my Coinbase wallet, but they rejected my transfer. I don't know if it's because I have tweeted about it or I've made videos about it, but anyway, it was rejected. My only option now, I don't want to transfer it again. My only option is that I will sell my Ether from here, transfer that to my bank account, and I know it will take maybe a week again or two, and then I will buy my crypto on Coinbase. So let me just go ahead and sell my Ether. So you okay, this is my Ether right here. It's 0 0.52 Ether. I have $177 in return or in profit. The price of Ethereum right now is $2,000. So what I'm going to do is that I'm still, I'm simply going to sell all my Ether. So I'm just going to, I mean, of course they have fees because the real price of Ether is more than that, but this is what they're charging me something, which is completely fine. Okay. Every exchange has a spread in price or has fees that they collect when, even if they say it's free, it's not necessarily free. And I'm fine with that. I'm not just okay with the withdrawal and the transfer time, but anyway, I'm just sliding and selling all my crypto. I'm out of here. My market sell order has been submitted. And as you can see now, if I go on the menu or the settings and I click on transfer cash or crypto and I click on withdraw from Voyager, I want to withdraw my US dollar. This is 1,088. So I'm just going to press 1,088, select my bank account. I am simply going to slide and then I confirm the transaction. Your withdrawal has been submitted. I know this is going to take a lot of time to get to my bank account, but at least I have initiated the withdrawal. I hope they will not lock out my account because I have, I'm withdrawing money. But essentially what I will do is that I will actually go on Coinbase, buy the same value for e Ethereum right now, because at least my money will hit my bank account and I will still have that from Coinbase. And as soon as Coinbase clears everything, I will just send that to my Coinbase wallet and actually do whatever I want with that. I hope that was helpful. Again, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to get in or get out of Voyager, but at least me, 
I think I'm getting out and I want to get out slowly. I don't want to trigger anything by selling everything and try to withdraw all the money at once, but slowly and surely I'm going to withdraw. And I think they have nice interest. Okay. If you click on crypto interest, they have nice, which is actually attracting a lot of people. They have nice interest, 6% for Bitcoin, 8% for Polkadot, 5% and 6% for Litecoin and 9% for USD coin. Okay. So nice uh, interest. If you want to opt out, you click here. I want to opt out. That's the last time I'm using this app. Like slowly, surely I'm going to get out. Okay. And there was actually another tweet that I put out. Okay. With this screenshot of my USD withdrawal not going through because every time, first of all, my ether was rejected. Fine. I already requested to withdraw. I sold it and I requested to withdraw, but guess what? This is the withdrawal. Even the withdrawal of the money in terms of US dollar is rejected. US dollar rejected, rejected. So I don't know what to do at this point. I think um, it's frustrating. I, I hope I'm not going to get locked out of my account. If you guys are using Raja and you're happy, that's fine for you. But understand that not everybody is happy or not everybody is having that good experience with the app if you're holding that's fine but if you're if you're selling and buying and trying to withdraw your money or transfer it it's a big issue okay i hope they can fix that soon i hope they can attract a lot a lot more customers but it's just not going to be i'm not going to be one of them because my experience with this already turned me off regarding the app and i think there are better options out there at the moment which i think i'm going to explore for now on and lastly let me read some of the recent tweet this is april 16 and if you look at it this is their latest tweet 12 hours ago if you open that they were talking about how the ceo of voyager welcomes coinbase to the trade space as crypto begins to grow its presence whatever and then if you open that again it's not engagement it's like i need a response to my ticket immediately i've wired hundreds of thousands of dollars to this account hundreds of thousands of dollars in this account and my account is now frozen this is wire fraud and i'll be reporting this to the sec understand this they will use those numbers or those frozen accounts to boost their numbers online and say that oh we have a lot of asset in our app but it's not the case if you're freezing people accounts and you're not allowing people to withdraw their us dollar or whatever then you can you can brag about those numbers but those are not real numbers because if you allow people to withdraw that you will not have that that amount of asset anyway it says pay your existing customers first taking all new customers and still got hell a ticket on file pay us damn it so I want my money. I've transferred in over a week. This is terrible service. Talk about bad service, not giving people their money. Guys, beware of Voyager. Do not use this exchange. Worst exchange platform. I mean, it's not an exchange platform. It's a trading platform where you can buy and sell, but still it's not doing well. Money has been stuck in pending for weeks. No customer service at all. They will not respond to you no matter who you email. Your platform is horrible. <laughs> so it's not me. It's not me. It's the people. The people are speaking. Okay. Do your own research, but the people are speaking. Anyway, I don't want to keep reading all those angry customers tweet or retweet, but I just wanted to uh, tell you, just beware of whatever exchange you decide to use, whether it's Voyager or Coinbase or KuCoin or whatever. Do your damn research before joining the app. And I'm actually going to be on Coinbase here and actually try to buy some of my asset, transfer that to my wallet, and I'll be good. Until next time, take care to the moon. Peace.